Hello everyone. This segment acts as a continuation part of design of pumps. In the segment we shall try to understand some more concepts of design of conveyance system or costing through a numerical problem. So the problem here comes is a centrifugal pump driven by an electric motor lifts water for a total height of 50 meters from the reservoir to the discharge end. The pump efficiency is 77 percentage and the motor efficiency is 85 percentage. The lift is through 300 meters length of 10 centimeter diameter pipe and the pumping rate is 1500 liters per minute. If 4 into F is 0 0.025 and power costs 2.25 rupees per kilowatt hour, what is the cost of power for pumping 4 million liters of water? Now, in this problem, we will be calculating the cost ultimately. In a way, this is the diagram or the summarized part of this problem statement is. So there is a centrifugal pump. The suction part is consisting of a reservoir at one end and there is a sump on the other end. And this is the delivery part and delivery head. And there are efficiency of pump and efficiency of a motor separately given. So pump efficiency is 77 percentage and motor efficiency is 85 percentage. We make use of these two efficiencies while we calculate the brake power, brake horse power. HS plus HT is directly given. Now the total head to be calculated involves an extra calculation part of the head loss. Now the problem can be summarized into three steps. First, we calculate the total head against the pump and then we calculate the power and energy requirement. And finally, we calculate cost of power for pumping. So there is a manometric head, which is suction head plus delivery head, which is given as 50 meters. But this is not the total head. For a given value of manometric head of 50 meters, length being 300 meters, discharge 1500 liters per minute. It's not in meter cube per second. We are supposed to convert it. And 4F, what is 4F? 4F is the friction factor, where F is coefficient of friction. 4F being 0 0.025. We can apply the Darcy waste batch equation here to calculate head loss. Head loss is 4FLV square by 2GD. Now, velocity is not given. By using discharge, uh, we can calculate velocity or we can do the substitution here. Even diameter is also given. But velocity is discharge by area, area of a circular pipe. The cross section area is pi by 4 d square. Hence, V square becomes q square by pi by 4 square into d square to the power 2 so it is d to the power 4 and there is one more d which is existing here so so if i substitute v equals to q by pi by 4 d square instead of v here uh, hf becomes 4 fl q square and 2 g d to the power 5 into pi by 4 square just that we have substituted q by pi by 4 d square for velocity here. So for 4f being 0 0.025, L equals to 300 meters and q is 1500 liters per minute. Uh, again, convert this to meter cube per second. 1500 liters is, is 1 1.5 meter cube per minute, just converted into seconds. So h of in such a way calculated is hf equals to 38.77 meters now manometric head is 50 meters head loss is 38.77 meters so the total head against a pump has to work is 50 plus 38.77 all together it is 88.77 meters now what next we'll calculate water horsepower water horsepower is gamma qh divided by 1000 into point 735 now here gamma qh by 1000 will yield the value in terms of kilowatts divided by 0 0.735 will ultimately will give you the value in terms of horsepower so it's around 
29.62 horsepower by making the substitution for q equals to the discharge h is the total head and anyhow gamma is gamma for water is 9810 uh, newton per meter cube now horsepower of motor required or the brake horsepower is water horsepower divided by two efficiencies in previous case we just had taken efficiency of a motor but efficiency of pump is also given so the the modified formula is water horsepower divided by efficiency of motor as well as efficiency of the pump so water horsepower calculated is 29.62 divided by 0.77 this is for 77 percentage into 85 percentage is written as 0.85 in terms of fractions so the the horsepower of motor required is around 45.26 or 45.26 horsepower is is the power of motor now we convert this back to the kilowatts so how do we convert it the power required converting 45.26 horsepower to the nominal kilowatts is this multiply 45.26 by 0.735 this is a conversion factor so power required is 33.26 kilowatts so it is the equal amount of 45.26 horsepower now we also know a concept and it is said in the problem statement that 4 million liters of water is lifted it is to be lifted so the discharge is discharge is so and so which is mentioned in the problem statement and volume is 4 million liters that means 4 into 10 raised to 6 liters so we shall calculate the time from the classic concept of discharge we also know that the discharge is volume by time or time is volume by discharge so volume is 4 million liters 4 into 10 raised to 6 and discharge is 1500 liters per second per second into 60 so it is around 44.4 hours so the time required is 44.4 hours now the time of lifting is 44.4 hours for 4 million liters the time of lifting is 44.4 hours energy is also equals to power into time energy is power into time do we know the value of power yes and we have also calculated the value of time just now so energy is 33.26 into 44.4 hours this is in kilowatts this is in hour so the energy required calculated will be in terms of kilowatt hours so it is 1476.9 kilowatt hour now the cost is mentioned the cost is given as it is 2.25 rupees for 1 kilowatt hour and we have energy for about 1476.9 so what would be the total cost so the total cost in account of energy 1476.9 kilowatt hour for 1 kilowatt hour it is 2.25 rupees the total cost is 3000 323 rupees now here we understood the concept of how to calculate energy from the brake horsepower and how to calculate the cost for cost of pumping thank you